So you wanna know what the importance is of balancing muscle, muscle systems when you're training structural balance. That was a, a bit of a tongue tie for me. <laughs> We're going to talk a lot about this today. It is absolutely critical and essential for preventing injury. What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Yanni Bullmeister. Of course, I'm graced with the company of my brother, Rad. And behind all of the gear is our business partner, Richard. Together, we are Unity Gym, the UMS system. Uh, the gym that turns driven people into superhumans. Now, remember, guys, if you're watching on the podcast, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, or if you're part of our UMS Movement Mastermind and catching the stream live, you can find out more about how we do that by downloading one of our blueprints. We have a blueprint for strength, flexibility, and for nutrition, soon to have a blueprint for motivation as well. They're all accessible in the description of this, whatever you're watching, and on our website, unitygym.com. What's up, Brad? Um, oh, look, a lot. Uh, I'm. A, did you see Sarah um, Ralda? I hope I'm saying it right, Sarah, because I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're German. But her Google review last night? I saw it come through, but I didn't read it yet. No. It's so long that she had to write it in two parts, and you can only ever leave one Google review with one account. So she's got two accounts, and she says part one and part two. Oh, wow. It's one of the most amazing Google reviews I've seen, and it's all about the Foundations program. It's really? all Yeah, it's all about her, because she's only been with us for a short time. And in a nutshell, in a nutshell, it talks about how for her entire life, she's suffered from um, aches and pains and gone to physios and always been told that you need to balance your body and you need to this and this and that and that and never been able to do it until she came to the UMS and she talks about how there is so much knowledge in here that she could see how a lot of people would get turned off but if you just follow the path and she was one of them she mm. said to me when she first joined I remember her saying I'm so confused with this tell me where to start. I, I don't know what I'm doing. And I told her, and here she is, you know, eight weeks later or so loving it. And she feels, she's talking about how she feels better than she ever has before. She's never been able to create this feeling in her body. And she's just trying to tell people to basically not get overwhelmed and, and, and just, wow. just go. And it's massive, man. I've never seen a Google review this long. So I'm kind of on a high from that because it's, uh, you know, we're getting all these great reviews this week from our tribe that have been that, that have done the foundations program and it's, and it's just so cool because it's, yeah. a, it's a testament to the work that we've put into this absolutely thing. which uh, leads us to our big announcement today drum roll please jeez I can't even do that properly uh, we uh, I put it out there to our UMS movement mastermind tribe because we've been talking about structural balance so much and with this incredible opportunity where people are returning to gyms um, back and forth really but it's going to be we're going to be going back and forth for the next sort of, I don't know, six to 12 months, I reckon, with this bloody health pandemic around the world. So there's a chance that you'll go in and out of lockdown, but that doesn't matter because you are going to have to restart and you can claim this moment. You can seize this opportunity and build the foundation that you always should have in, when you originally started. Not many of us get a second chance to start over again. So I believe this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So... We put it out there to the UMS Movement Mastermind Tribe. We're going deep into why building a foundation is so important, building anatomical structural balance. So this weekend, we have decided to flash sale the UMS Foundations program, which is my favorite program. It's the program that Rad, Richard, and myself have put the most amount of work in. It's a culmination of our own work over really the last 20 years of our training and learning from many different people. And I think it's our most successful program. You know, if, if you were just to do one thing that we've created, the foundations program by a country, by a mile. country mile by, would cha like the, change not, you the it's most. Not, it's not even close. Yeah. Not even close to anything else. And, um, and we've had feedback like that from elite level athletes who have done the program right through to um, weekend warriors and everyday people, mums and dads, you know. So it's a life-changing program. We, we don't usually discount the price of this program. The program is usually 300 bucks US. Uh, because it's so valuable and in fact for many years we didn't even make it available to people uh, unless to purchase and, unless you were subscribed unless you were a UMS um, online coaching client and, and so, in all honesty you know the the reason why we've made this jump is that we recognize 
that not everybody is ready to subscribe to a program. Some yeah. people, some people just they're just not ready to make that commitment. Even though you can cancel whenever you want. Yeah. Um. Some people just want to be able to know that they're just paying once and that's it, and then they've got yeah. access to yeah, it. Yeah. They're so. not locked into something. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So we're going to do it. We're pulling off a miracle because, quite frankly, usually when we do these flash sales, we prepare them for weeks in advance, and uh, we got a great team, uh, marketing team, um, working. Chris Murray, legendary Chris Murray and his team, and they're working their butts off right now, 24 hours a day to get to pull this off and get an information uh, page up and launched uh, tomorrow so that we can launch this flash sale. And uh, we, j we filmed uh, an intro video for it yesterday. Uh, Rad and I cre um, created that. That's getting edited right now. So no, all the pieces not. will come together? It's not? No, it is edited. It is edited. It's there you go. go. I've got to Boom. view it after this. Look at that. Show. So yeah, look, there's a lot that goes into these um, these flash sales, but we wanted to do this because I honestly believe that this is the once in a lifetime opportunity for everyone to get a second chance and start over and start right, you know? And right means building about a, bo a balanced body. God, I almost got a that. Bo 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 yeah, yeah, balanced body. And what does balance mean, Rad? Let's let's dissect what balance means in the body, just for those who haven't caught. Because we have a lot of people asking really great questions in the UMS Movement Mastermind, and I want to try and answer them in this show. Um, although we do have a very specific topic we want to talk about and cover, just so they don't have to go back and watch Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday's show to refresh themselves. What is balance? Well, we balance, uh, firstly, strength and flexibility. That, that in itself is game changing yeah. in the fitness industry. It really is. It's yep. revolutionary. Um, prove me wrong. Because there, I know that there's other people out there that teach strength and flexibility, but not in the same workout, not like we do. Yep. And that's why... And they don't deliver the results we do. They don't. Yeah. They don't. And that's why we've got people that have been training for 15 years that have done all of the other on, the big online coaching programs and they say that they've never found anything like what we do. So that's the first thing we do, balance strength and flexibility. Next thing we talk about is left to right side symmetry. So balancing left left arm versus right arm. And you'll never get that perfect. We sp if you want to know more about that, watch listen to yesterday's show, yesterday's podcast, or watch yesterday's show that was all about left and right side symmetry. In a nutshell, it's about starting with um, uh, dumbbells and working unilateral movements and leading, dictating mm -hmm. load management by the weaker side. By the side. weaker side, yeah. Yep. Yep. Next, we look at uh, upper and lower body. We want to balance upper and lower body. We're not, it's, this isn't an upper body heavy program. And you know, uh, like it or not, if you're doing a calisthenics program and all you're doing is calisthenics, you are doing an upper body heavy program. Yeah. And you only need to look at all of the top calisthenics guys, except for the only one that I know that doesn't fit this category is Daniel Vadnall from Fitness FAQs, but they all because have- Because he's made a point of he's becoming made a point. staunch as well. That's right. You know, and Rad, Rad asked me yesterday when we were writing content for the, um, for the intro video, uh, how do we explain why it's so important to train the lower body evenly with the upper body? And to put it simply, um, you get staunchness from the lower body. If someone runs at you and wants to knock you over, you're going to get knocked over if you don't have strong legs. Uh, some of the calisthenics guys that I've seen who are bar brutes, who are incredible upper body strength, would get knocked over by a strong wind. You know, and so if you want athletic performance, if you want to move quickly, if you want to get out of the way of an oncoming vehicle quickly, if you want that explosive power, it doesn't matter how many muscle ups you can do. If you can't squat double your body weight, then you're going to be in trouble. You're not well, you going to be, to be able, able to, to move. squat double your body weight. But that's well, our goal. if you want to be able to explode from the mark <coughs> quickly, then yes, you do. You know, mo See. most uh, hundred meter sprinters who have made it to an Olympic level can squat two and a half times their body weight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's where you get explosive power from. Yeah. And so to neglect that in, an, in, a, in a strength training program is absolutely ridiculous. And it also leads to issues down the line because one of the biggest problems we have when we age is frailty. And I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't matter how many muscle ups you banked in your lifetime. When you're an old man, if you haven't squat lots or woman, you know, uh, I was talking to Phil the other day and he was talking about his time working in hospitals in palliative care looking at really healthy people who have led a really healthy life and now are absolutely confined to a wheelchair because they didn't do enough strength training for the yeah. whole body yeah, throughout they, their they life. They can't even stand up out yeah, of the wheelchair. That's exactly right. So um, don't get too far I, I, the I reckon, uh, personally, I think it, you can simplify it so much more. The legs are a part of the body. Yeah. 
You got to strengthen your whole body. Don't don't, don't just don't neglect anything. So yeah. that's the idea of upper and lower body uh, balance. Uh, we also balance push pull patterns. So that means that uh, every push is balanced with a pull and vice versa. Um, again, not uh, common in a lot of uh, popular p- training programs. They are unbalanced, and if you train unbalanced. Um, you with push and pull, and that's that's not just for the arms; that's for the legs as yeah, well. So that means so I like Rad. Rad and I phrase this differently. I call this we we strengthen opposing muscle groups, mm-hmm. uh, ag- ag- or the other the the, the clinical agonist way of saying it is agonist and antagonist muscle mm-hmm. groups, which is super important. The most obvious example of that is quads versus hamstrings in the legs, and biceps versus triceps in the arms. But you've also then got, of course, your pecs and abdominal muscles versus your back muscles you know and then we also we balance complex and simple patterns so there are movements in the program that are complex that challenge the mind as well not just the muscles and then we also have the simple patterns that are very very simple and then the last one which is what we're going to talk about today is um balancing muscle systems prime movers and stabilizers so the inner unit versus the outer unit. So something that most people could relate to if we talk about the shoulder joint. So we're talking about this joint right here, the shoulder. The outer unit, the muscles, the main muscles that move the shoulder are the pecs, the deltoids, the lats, the biceps and triceps as well. Yep. That's the prime movers, the outer unit. There's more than that. but And then the inner unit is the rotator cuff. So the subscapularis, the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor. Yep. Um, so that's, that's an outer unit versus an inner unit. And if you have an imbalance between those in that one joint, you're going to get injured that's eventually exactly when right. you start pushing Well, what yourself. happens, and we'll go, we've spoken about this a lot with Phil on Physio Fridays, but just to, in a nutshell, you get, um, and I, the guys on the podcast are not going to be able to see what I'm doing here, but basically I'm creating a ball and socket with my, with my hand, with my two hands, uh, a fist and an open hand. In every joint, you know, you've got the orbital movements that happen, especially in the shoulders, and then you've got glide, joint glide, and that's the the bone, the the head of a bone, which is it can be the shoulder, it can be the hip, it can be the knee, um, it uh, it can be the elbow. The 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 bone in that sort of socket or on that surface can slide back and forth, up and down, and that glide is what the inner unit is usually trying to prevent. There's always going to be a little bit of glide you can't c- completely stop it but when there's excessive glide from a weak stabilizer system then you are smashing bone against soft tissue that's not meant to happen you are um, causing severe stress to the inner unit the, the passive structures in that joint system you, you cause wear and tear that you, leads to degenerative joint disease that's as well, exactly like right yeah so essentially in a nutshell when you don't balance the inner unit with the outer unit, you are exposing yourself to injury and and wear and tear that you don't need to. And this is really important, guys. This is really important to understand. And I'm going to say something very controversial here. Exercise, when done incorrectly, wears the body out. Exercise, I'm going to repeat that, when done incorrectly, when you don't take these things into consideration, you are exposing your body to excessive wear and tear. So if you're going and and doing heaps and heaps of gym sessions like the average bodybuilder does, like I used to do for a decade, uh, without first building a foundation, without first balancing these systems, these muscle systems, then you, you have excessive glide occurring in your joints uh, and that is causing excessive wear and tear to your body. And so, you know, it kind of negates from the very reason why we all go and exercise. We all go to the gym to exercise, to embedder ourselves, to level up, to get stronger, to get more flexible, to essentially stop our bodies from degenerating, right? Yep. But then we go and do it without creating a, a proper foundation, without understanding that there are systems in the body that may need to be brought up in strength before you go and try and max out your bench press or before you go and try a muscle up or before you try a handstand, you know, a, a barbell back squat. And if you neglect those systems, you, you, it's unfortunate, but I'm going to say it, you're doing yourself harm, you know? Yeah, or, or you're definitely going to do yourself harm if you try and do... The things that most people come to us for, you know, most people, most people that come to us are looking for a higher level of movement capability. We yeah. definitely don't have people that are coming to us that want to lose weight and just do the general stuff that you can, 
you know, get a trainer to just shout reps at you while you're on the treadmill and tell you how long you've got to go before the buzzer ends. That's right. And if that's the case, if you're looking for that higher level stuff, you're going to get to a point eventually where you're demanding things of your body that you've never done before. If you haven't prepared yourself properly for that, that's when you're going to be at risk of uh, injury. Well, no one does. I mean, this is the thing. When I worked, when I was um, uh, taught by the late Charles Poliquin, uh, I was really quite um, humbled at the, the reality that someone said, someone challenged his philosophy of structural balance training for everyone, despite whether you're an elite level athlete or not, you know. Um, and he said, athletes are the worst. They're usually some of the people that need anatomical structural balance the most. That's our experience. And what you need to understand is there's a very, very um, short lifespan for most professional athletes. You know, like they, they don't survive very long in this sport. And people like Ian King and Charles Poliquin and uh, Tony Batage, great strength coaches out there. There's many of them that I'm not naming. These guys are, are acutely aware that if you skip the structural balance process, then you are, if you're a strength coach, you are responsible for the sh shortening of that athlete's life, yeah. career, you well, know? Well, I think what's more interesting about what you're saying there is that um, saying that, an, that most athletes have a short career, what really um, got me excited was when we were told by those people, you know, Charles Pollock, Tony Bataja, Ian King, it's not that athletes have a short career, it's because they didn't prepare themselves properly that they have a short career. Yeah. And every now and then, you'll see an athlete that went the other way, and they're very Puts rare. Puts the work in. They're very yeah. rare, but they are still performing in their late 30s and even into their 40s when the other athletes in their exact same sport are dropping off in their late 20s and, and it's considered early 30s, you're old. Yeah, you know? exactly. And it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah, it doesn't 100%. have to. A great you know? example is Anthony Minicello working with Aaron McKenzie at Origin of Energy. You know, yeah, he came yeah. back after, after horrendous injuries playing rugby yeah. league and uh, played, I don't know how many more seasons at yeah. the most elite level when he was ruled out from you know uh, injuries that would usually end a career. Yeah. Uh, th this is the thing, guys. This is really important. It's really important, and we're very passionate about it, as you can hear. Now, Rad and I and Richard are not saints that just figured this out and have never harmed ourselves. <laughs> we figured this out the hard way. But that's why, you know? that's why we believe this so much, and that's why we've created a system that works so well, because we've experienced what happens firsthand when you don't do it. Yeah, I, I, I was only exposed to this concept of anatomical structural balance in 2006 when I met Charles Poliquin and that was uh, eight years after I'd started strength training. I started strength training in the gym at 18 years old, you know, um, in 1998. And so for eight years, I pounded my body. And then even after I was exposed to this in the, in the Poliquin Institute um, strength certification courses, I only really started to implement it on myself and then I went and did a mentorship under Tony Bataji and did a lot of his strength courses and stuff like well, we, he, he became sort of a, somewhat of a mentor of mine uh, that, um, that I really started to focus on this. And the funny thing was, it was a game changer for me. It was the reason why I became a successful personal trainer because it, it, it re like remarkably set me aside from the rest of the trainers at Fitness First, you know. People were flocking to train with me because we created this system. Mm -hmm. And then we just, over the last two decades, perfected it, you know. Yep. Yep. So that, that's what the, in a nutshell, guys, that's what the Foundations program is. That's what, if you guys decide to jump on this weekend, that's what you're going to get. And um, we, there's so many raving reviews about this program. It's not bullshit, you know. This is, it's really pretty impressive when you go through it. For those of you that haven't done this, we, guys, we get, we get so many great, great, blah, great reviews from people that have done our individual programs. You know, people talk about they did the Mobility Masterclass and now they've got this amazing level of flexibility that they've never had before and they've had massive breakthroughs. Same with the 18 minute stretching routine. People talk about how the Muscle Up Masterclass unlocks their first muscle up, all this stuff. Let us be really, really clear. Every single one of those programs is a break off from the Foundations program. Mm. The Foundations program, the UMS program, which starts with the Foundations program, is the core of everything that we do. Yeah. And when you get that program and you go through it and you see what it does to your body, not only will you physically change, you will have one of the biggest breakthroughs that you will ever experience in your life with what is the better way to train. 
how do you train in one, one single session a day to tick all of the major boxes of the things that you need in order to perform at a high standard and see massive improvements in strength, massive improvements in flexibility, massive reduction in aches and pains, and bulletproofing your body, preparing you for whatever it is that you want to do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Quickly shout out to Blakely Hern um, Hernage here. Um, he's made a great, great point, you know, and it's really hard to, to uh, like, Watch the Ronnie Coleman documentary on Netflix. He said here, have you all seen Ronnie Coleman lately? He can't even walk without crutches these days. Uh, I found it really challenging to watch that documentary because I, I really, really was a fan of Ronnie yeah. Coleman. Likely I actually met him guy, once. That is one of the best examples of what happens to your body when you don't train functionally. Yeah. When, you, when you train for looks when, 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 at all yeah, costs. That's exactly right. We spoke about this earlier. You know, the reason, I think it was in another podcast a while ago when we we're talking about the health hierarchy. That is the perfect example, perfect example of um, what can happen when you use physique as your primary driver to train. And I know a lot of um, bodybuilders, like as Richard's saying there in a comment, it, it, Ronnie is an extreme example, you know, and he had a very excessive attitude to his approach to training. He was an all or nothing, 100% all or nothing guy, you know, um, uh, but, it is something that you need to consider, you know, when you go at a, um, a physique with that um, attitude, you sacrifice everything else. And a lot of athletes have to do that. I said, in, I think it was either yesterday's uh, podcast or the day before, um, that, you know, we're blessed to not be athletes. We're blessed to not have to make those sacrifices for our performance, for short term immediate performance gains. How many athletes have had to take the field with an injury that they know is going to cause them serious harm in the future, mm. but they're contracted, they're obligated yeah. to get that job done. Yeah. You know, we don't have to do that. Yeah. We can take our time. We can build the foundation. We can r hit the restart, reset button and do it properly. We're yeah. not contracted to the gym we go to. We don't have to turn up there and do a bench session tomorrow, have, you know. Have you finished The Last Dance yet? Have you watched the whole thing? No. Have you seen the episode where Scotty Pippen injures his back and has to keep playing? Yes. Yeah. Wasn't yep. that amazing? Yeah. To see behind the scenes what professional athletes go through. and man, I've he, seen he, his heaps. Yeah, and he, know, was, he was in so much pain that he couldn't walk properly and they kept bringing him downstairs, massaging him for five minutes and then bringing him back and so, to play for five minutes till he was in so much pain and then he'd go back. 100%. Look, I've done That's it same. myself. You same. know, I ruptured my tricep when I was boxing um, a decade ago and I was training for a, um, a, 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 a big competition and I pushed through so many training sessions and I could feel the split, the tear in my tendon getting worse and worse and worse. And it wasn't until my 30th birthday when I pulled the pin and said, this is ridiculous. I'm yeah, causing long-term yeah. damage. And I still have problems with that tricep with my elbow, you know, and that was yeah. 10 years ago. Like. I know what it's like. And, and, and so I say, don't train like a freaking athlete. You don't have to. You're blessed to be able to do things the right way. You yep. don't have to sacrifice your longevity yep. for short-term performance. Yep. And so, you know, this whole thing and the reason why we're doing this flash sale uh, for, the, for the foundations program is because you all have a unique opportunity that most of us may not get ever again in our lifetime, which is that you've been forced to hit the reset button. Yeah, you've you, been forced you, to, to go back a few steps and say, yeah. okay, I can't just continue where I left off. I mean, you know? be, you'd, you, as I said in my blog yesterday, you'd be an absolute idiot to jump into the gym where you left off because you've, you've regressed yeah. to some degree. Even if you did the at-home workouts, you're not going to be as conditioned to barbells and dumbbells and kettlebells as you were before. So there needs to be some level of regression to manage the load, to integrate yourself back into the gym and your uh, previous routine. So you've got this opportunity opportunity where you have to go backwards anyway. So why don't you go back and do things properly? Yep. You know, if you've never done it before. Yanni, we do need to go because we've got an appointment coming up soon. Yes. We've got a meeting. So um, look, guys, I hope you got something out of that. I hope that uh, for those of you that are watching and tuning in that you're going to jump because we've, we've just had so many people say, yes, yes, I want you guys to do this. And that's why we're doing it for you. I hope that you jump on board tomorrow and uh, and grab this program and 
Um, get into the gym with and, and you know build a body that you've never had before. And don't worry if you're at, um, at you, you think you're at risk of the gym closing again or going down into lockdown again. Because uh, you're gonna have it forever. Because you're gonna have it forever, you yeah. know. And it's not something that we're not gonna do. It's not something we're gonna do because this is a this is a pride and joy project. It you know it's I believe it's worth a thousand dollars, not not three hundred dollars, and it's certainly not worth. Uh, uh, 10 times the amount that we're going to be selling it for tomorrow. So it's not something I'm going to do often uh, because it, I just don't believe in devaluing something so much. But I know that that's required to get a lot of people over the line. And I know how many people are going to benefit from doing this program. So we're happy to do it uh, this time. And yeah, look, get into it. And if you're not, if you're not, if you don't want to work with us, then take these principles on board. You know, don't don't worry about whether you're not in line with our vision or um, our um, ethos or, or methods, but don't rush into it again. Take your time, build a foundation, balance your body, strength, flexibility, opposing muscle uh, jo um, uh, systems, uh, complex and and simple movement patterns. Uh, get this right, guys. You know, otherwise yep. you're you're destined for all the injuries that I've had. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you Thanks tomorrow for, joining for another us. great show. See you later. Health is about performance, not just body image. You better be willing to accept what you're going to have to do to get there. We'll start focusing on movement goals, strength goals, flexibility goals. When you nail that skill, it's there forever. The body image goal doesn't get you that far. It's the consistency and frequency that's going to get you there. It's not the intensity. There's no shortcuts to mastery and movement. Destination doesn't change overnight, but your direction will. It's the gym is not the place to beat up the body that you hate. It's the place to build the body that you love. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image.